everyone. So I'm going to be talking about the fact that I lost my job and the next steps that I have to think about for my life, me being a mom, and also the fact that there are just things that I have to currently just scale back and think through before I move forward as a business owner. I'm not too sure if you've lost your job or if you're planning to leave your job or if you're just in a space where you're just interested about the next steps or processes that may come in this space. Welcome, and I hope that this gives you some value, and I thank you so much for your time for being here. junkie. I support businesses with admin support and that's either data entry or just doing back end support. I help also streamline their businesses. So we connect tools like Dubsado with creating workflows and making websites and landing pages and everything, everything, everything. But today my focus is about losing my corporate job because I'm a side hustler, was a side hustler. Okay, it begins because I have been doing this specific job for three and a half years. Um, I'm, I was a staff accountant. It's so hard saying was now because it seems so surreal to me that it's happened. Um, but it's, it's real life, right? So I am, as you guys may or may not know, I'm a mom. I have a husband who also works as a chef. Yeah. We're eating good over here. Um, and uh, I work from home. I've been working from home since the pandemic has started. Um, during the pandemic, we were blessed enough to have a baby girl. So we have her and she's now one. And I've been with my, uh, you know, with the side hustle. I started it about three years ago at the time of the pandemic. Um, and so I've been doing it as a side hustle for very long. My thoughts and my whole scale was to pivot out of the corporate job and to move into this side hustle, um, which would have been my full blown business for a long time. They just beat me to the punch, okay? Um, so in this video, I'm really gonna just talk about things that will kind of help you if you're transitioning out of your job, you just lost your job, you're wanting to leave your job, any and all of the things. One thing that I have to do now is restructure. Restructuring is going to be one of the biggest things that I have to do because my income was solely coming from the salary base that I had for my corporate company. And then I separated that from my, my business income because all of my salary was going towards my bills for my home. So everything was functional. I had no reason to kind of cross the two paths because everything was just working on that end. Now I have to just merge them, right? Um, now I actually have to think about the process of making enough money to transition um, my business money into my salary. Um, and I'm an S-Corp. If you don't know what an S-Corp is, um, I don't have the real definition for you. I can just say that it's it's a little bit, um, it's a tax difference in terms of um, uh, having an, an LLC. But one of the things um, that's really big on it is that you're able to pay yourself um, a salary and you get a W-2 at the end of the year. I transitioned to be an S-Corp earlier this year, actually. So I was already making the shifts and the things that I need to do, like open the 401k account for my business. So I'm able to make the shifts as I needed to, but I just did not think nor expect that God was going to pull me out of this job before I was ready to make this transition. But God, he be knowing what he's doing, okay? Um, so I got the call that this corporate company was going through financial, um, you know, challenges and they had to make a cut. Mind you, they made a cut of 300 people prior. And then I'm not too sure what this cut or wave of this cut was, but I'm sure it was going to be about 150 or so. And so now I'm, I was in that cut schedule, um, getting the call. It was not pleasant. I think the person who let me go was also very sad and it felt awkward for them because they didn't want to do it. They just needed to because of reasons that the company had, right? Understandable. 
it gave me the mindset of what am I gonna do now? I have a one-year-old, I have my husband who is working his butt off at this job that cannot just supply for both of us and the bills. And then we have to consider the fact that um, we have to market differently now, right? Because the people that we're trying to uh, really target, it's hard to find them if, if everyone is in this economical space, right? Of either they're losing their jobs or they don't know what they need or they're not seeing you in the right spaces and the right avenues. So back to what my step one is, it's the structure. One, I had to take a look at all of my financials and say, okay, well, God, this is where I am. I have no idea what sense I can make of this right now, but I need to make some sort of sense of it. And then I had to think about the fact that we were in the middle of selling our house. Yeah, I'm gonna let that sit there for a second. Literally, we literally um, listed our house for sale a week prior to me losing my job. So the process of, if you don't know the process of listing or selling your house is that once you sell it, the great hope is that you're able to make money out of it by getting some equity. But the the other step will be for you to find a house, which will also per, you know be the, your next primary home. Um, and so the transition of that will mean that you have to have a regular income coming in to show forth that you're able to pay the mortgage that they're going to be granting you access to. Um, so the restructuring for me looks like taking a look at all of our subscriptions, saying, okay, is this necessary? Are we going to be utilizing this? What exactly um, can we cancel? We're just restructuring and canceling things we don't need. That Hulu subscription, it can stay because I watch my shows actively, but maybe um, I got to cancel stars. I don't know. Um, so yeah, restructuring. Then also um, just remembering that one, or oh, this should have been number one, God is in control. So let structuring number two, but God is in control. That is one of the things that I really feel as if I, I had to take a step back and say, this is not the battle for me. I understand that I'm going through it, but this is not my battle. I'm going to overcome it because I know who's in control of my life. Granted, in the moment and in the space, it feels like a lot of things are going on, right? So number three, would be to honestly take a look at my staff and my uh, clients and my prices, okay? So I took the ratio of how many clients do I have? What is the income coming from that each month? From that, I said, okay, well, my staff, my team needs to be paid each month. It's the beginning of the month, so therefore I need to know how much I can budget for this month in order for me to pay my team. Granted, it's been weighing itself out, which makes the most sense because God is in control. But at the same time, ongoing, where is it going to flow, right? The idea is that you take your amount that you, you need for your home income, right? So if you need $10,000 a month, right? Then you should have at least $10,000 of income coming in to pay the things that you need. However, really and truly, it should be that you have at least $20,000 coming in. $10,000 will go towards that bill or those bills, and then the, 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 re the other them will be allocated towards um, expenses, fund, staff, whatever else. So we set a goal. We said, okay, this is what the goal is going to be, and um, we're going to continuously go towards that goal. I had no idea I was going to lose my job, but I was planning to leave my job in December. So the intention was already there. Um, my husband said it very well is that they beat me to it. They beat me to the punch because I originally had it all designed, right? And this is how God can laugh. He, you tell God your plans and, and it'll make him laugh, right? Um, because we had the intention to literally say, okay, I'm going to schedule the time to go away on a trip. We're going to, we're going away out of the country. Um, stay tuned, you're gonna get some Vlogmas videos about that, okay? Um, so we were already planning ahead for the trip. We already made decisions that we were going to financially kind of restructure. And then now we were going to take the time to market, brand, do all the things, right? Because I'm not a pitchy salesperson, I bring value. And I'm very confident in saying that because I know my worth. I know what I'm able to say, I know what I'm able to do, and my clients can attest to everything that I've done. Therefore, I'm not scared of taking myself and putting myself out there, but I just need to be seen more, right? 
So long story short, I am at the space now where I'm taking the time to scale back. I'm glad that in my um, starting days of becoming a business owner, I knew what tools worked best for me and I stuck to those tools throughout these, this time period of growing and scaling. So I'm, I'm great with the tools I have. I've either paid for yearly subscriptions or I'm just at a space where I don't need any more tools. So the tools are already out the way. My staff, I've already downscaled prior to um, this shift. So I already have the equipped amount of tasks that um, team staff that I need. So I don't need to hire another person. I don't need to fire another person. I'm great there. And the workload will still be divided accordingly so that everyone will have things to do. However, it's still a little bit daunting, if that's the world. And that's the word to kind of like see what's next because Maybe you might find yourself in a little ditch or something or whatever that is. But I speak positivity over your business, my business, and God knows what he's doing. Um, I just say all of that to say that we don't know what's going to happen in this economy. We do not know what to expect. And it's so important for you to have a plan and to even understand your business enough. This kind of like even segues into just the back end of your business. I always ask clients, do you know how to function if you're if you went into an emergency? Can your business function without you? Can you attest to saying that you have SOPs created, that you have guidelines created for people who may need to help you um, to help scale or support your business? Do you have those? We create them for people, of course, because we're able to say, okay, if God forbid something were to happen to Jessica, right? I don't have a client named Jessica. I'm just saying a name. Then Jessica knows that she can give it to her sister, Jenny, and Jenny is able to run her business because of the SLPs, because of the procedures, and because of the workflows that are already created in her website or in her platform, right? In her, in her business. We create all of those. So... A lot of people don't know what we do in the scale of understanding like, well, what is admin support? What is data entry? What is streamlining your business? Admin support is as simple as saying, hey, I need my emails to be managed every day. Okay, cool. We could do that. Hey, I need to be able to find some target audience. I need to do some marketing. I need to have digital marketing ads created. I need to do all these things. We do that. We need a landing page. I need um, a website. We do that. We also do email marketing sequences. So what that means is that we schedule emails for a year, a year. We create the copy, we create the content, we create the actual graphics based on the branding that you present to us. We do all that. So long story short, God got me, but this is still a trying time. I'm not too sure what will happen, but I'm very much so trusting in the process. And I wanted to share this experience with you because I know that right now, a lot of us are in the corporate world where we have the choice to say, I don't need that job. I could just give my side hustle. Or a lot of us were like, okay, I need to actually pivot. I don't want to stay in this job. I don't want to be in this job anymore. Then it's time for us to pivot out. I would recommend that you first strategize, make a plan, take a structure, take it one day at a time, and please plan out your numbers. Even if it's going to be like you say you need $5,000 a month for your bills, make it 10 just because you want to be able to scale correctly, right? The next thing is just make sure that you have the tools that are going to be beneficial for you. For me, I use ClickUp and I also use SweetDash. So those tools are very effective and very, you know, they work well in my business. So make sure that you have the tools that you need. And also make sure you know how and when to delegate, what to delegate. Because a lot of times, even though you can do it, you shouldn't have to do it. You shouldn't have to send an email or you shouldn't have to um, send an invoice or do onboarding for a client when there's a process that can be created for it to be done by itself. You wanna have an evergreen business and we create those systems and those workflows and that process for your business to run in that way. Okay, I bored you enough. But if you don't know, check out our community. We definitely are sharing a lot of gems in there. We are coming up with a VA mixer 
And I love to just meet all the virtual assistants that are watching this video and will love to know more about um, how to scale, how to create processes, how to create all the things. I personally will show you the back end of my business and how I function and how I flow. And then another thing is we have four business owners. If you're local or if you want to be virtual, we have a business automated um, productivity workshop as well, just to kind of show you what that looks like. What does it look like if my business was automated what does it look like if i was able to say i have this this and these tools and i want to connect them all just kind of creating that space of automation i hope that you found some value in this and i can already feel your love and hugs from watching this video just for thanking you right i'm thanking you right now for that because i appreciate you and your time so yeah stay tuned for more